front one. How's it going guys and gals? Uh, today I'm going to take a little bit of time and go through the newest predator call made by Lucky Duck. This is the Lucky Duck Roughneck. You guys may or may not have seen my most recent video on the Lucky Duck uh, Revolt versus the Fox Pro Fusion. If you haven't seen that video, I'll make sure and add that at the end of this video here that we're on now. But for those of you that have already seen that video, you guys are probably thinking, what the heck's going on? He's only had that Revolt for, I've had it for right at four weeks now. I love that thing and it's performed really well for me, calling in numerous coyotes. You guys have probably seen quite a few of the coyote videos here on the channel recently. Uh, sounds super crisp. The only thing I don't like, and I hunt by myself a lot, is just the size of the thing. And to me, and one of my concerns is it just feels kind of cheaply made. Um, it's probably going to be fine and no concerns, but I'm used to my old Fox Pro Fusion and that thing's just built like a tank and pretty compact in size. And the Revolt, hunting by myself quite a bit, uh, just too big for me, um, kind of cumbersome to carry around. The scanning feature is really cool. It works really well as far as putting it up on the tripod and being able to rotate the call 360 degrees wherever you want it. but. To be honest, most places that I hunt, I have a pretty good idea where I know they're going to be coming from, so I can point the call in that direction. And these things, the Revolt and the new Roughneck, are plenty loud to where I don't need to spin that thing. And I know the scanning feature helps add some realization like the animals out in the field spinning around hurt and distress. But I called in so many with the Fox Pro Fusion without the Rotate feature. Um, I think I'm going to be really happy with this new Roughneck and just dude how small it is and compact this thing feels a lot more solid a lot better built and i'm just going to take a little bit of time here and go through some of the features on it and hopefully help any of you guys that are in the market for a new predator call or trying to decide between the revolt and the roughneck like i mentioned i hunt a lot by myself and number two i hunt almost mainly at night probably 90 percent of my hunting is at night so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take the revolt back it's still within my uh, return window but I want to show you here real quick because I haven't shipped this back yet just how much smaller this roughneck is and one thing to keep in mind you've got all this compared to the roughneck here in size but at the end of the day the main speaker and the tweeters are the same size so you're able to fit the same sound quality into this smaller package compared to the Revolt here. Even with the same size speaker and the same size tweeter, I feel like this is even a little bit clearer than what the Revolt is, which I was super happy with the Revolt. But I think part of that may be because of this protective layer, this membrane that is around the speaker. I think in some way it just makes it uh, portray the sound a little bit better and make it more crisp. And I've actually heard Rick on one of his videos say that he thinks the roughneck sounds better than the revolt once again the revolt is an awesome call called in a lot of coyotes a lot of bobcat and a few fox in the short time that i ran it but for me the roughneck's just gonna be a lot better fit for the style of hunting that i do and hunting a lot by myself so just want to show you a quick difference on those two there and also want to show you a quick difference on the remotes this could be a concern to somebody too the revolt for you day hunters is a lot smaller a lot more compact in size. And then here you've got the new Roughneck remote, which works really well at night. Reminds me a lot of the Fox Pro TX1000 remote. And I'll go through this here in a little bit, but just wanted to show you a quick comparison before we dig into the Roughneck here. So getting into the Roughneck, uh, you'll notice here, you got your carry handle on top with the tweeter sticking out front. One thing I like about this is there's nothing here that stops this flow through. So you can take this and slide it onto a tree branch, onto a piece of fence wire, uh, whatever it might be just to get that elevated. But also, I wanna show you, it does have a quarter by 20 thread pitch down here. So you can throw this on a tripod just like you can with the Revolt. It does not spin, but you can do that and get that elevated off the ground. On the bottom, while we're down there, it's got these two little plastic rubber feet. You can kind of see here, that's gonna get it up off the ground. And then up on the front portion, it's got this little metal bar. Just fold that out and kind of angle it up, get it even more elevated off the ground. 
On the bottom, you've got your battery compartment right here. Nice, tight, compact. I think I've seen some reviews where if you do go with the lithium ion rechargeables, the actual battery pack that you can plug into the wall, uh, I think you got to stuff maybe some foam or something in there because it doesn't fit quite as snug. But I'm just using the standard uh, battery compartment with 10, uh, I think, in a loop rechargeable batteries. Those always perform really well for me. Like I mentioned earlier, it's got this protective coating membrane all around the call. You can just kind of see, compare that here real quick. So you got the rough neck and then the revolt. The revolt is just hard plastic. On the side here, you've got your typical little flap. Pull this up. And then you've got some auxiliary inputs. You've got a spot where you can run your external charger if you go with the aftermarket uh, Lucky Duck rechargeables. And then your memory card's tucked in there as well. On the back, You've got just a nice little slide switch for your on and off. And I like the fact that the red LED is faced towards the back. On the Revolt, it had a toggle up on top and then a red LED on the side. I like it being on the back for some reason. It just works a little bit better for me. But that's it for the Roughneck. I mean, pretty simple. Um, nice, tight, compact. You've got a spot back here where you can throw a lanyard on it. Um, sling it around your shoulder, however you want to carry it in. Just so much easier to transport for me. Uh, I know there's going to be a lot of daytime callers that want the Revolt because it's got the built-in uh, decoy. I don't use decoys a whole lot, so that's not a big concern to me. I will say if there's one thing that I'm going to miss, it's going to be the tripod on the bottom with the scan feature. I can run the tripod on this but it's not gonna have the scan rotate feature. But I'm confident I'll get by just fine without that, and I think I'm gonna be real happy with this call. Let's get in to the remote a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys some close-ups of this, just run through it real quick. You always wanna make sure and turn the call on first. Then you got your power button here. Just hold this down until it turns white. Screen's gonna light up. This thing loads up much quicker than the Revolt does because the rough neck is not going to scan for those four other um, inputs. It only has the input itself on the call. So you can see it just gets right into it much quicker. But you can see here, I've got it currently set up on night mode on the side of the remote. You've got daylight. I think this is like a dusk. And then you've got night mode. And then you can also change the brightness levels within those three settings. So right now, it's on night mode. And if I go over here and hit the D for daylight, see it switches there. Then I can tap D again. And then you can make it as dim as you want, or you can crank the brightness up. Pretty nice feature there. Uh, you've still got an auxiliary button here on the remote, so you can run an external decoy. And then on the other side, you've got three different favorites here, one, two, and three. And then you can still control your gain, changing the pitch on the sounds. And down here, you've got a couple more favorites. They label these as H1, H2. And the way I understand this is that will also do not only your call that you want, but the volume setting. Pretty nice feature there. Got a recall button down here. You got your back button. And then other than that, you've just got up and down between different folders. Got your volume and your center button is a select button. Play, pause, all that good stuff. But this remote is really nice for nighttime hunting. I will just go through a few quick sound tests for you. You can see here the unit's turned on. The red LED is lit up on the back. Go through here and play these pretty quiet because it gets pretty loud here in the basement. So go through, I'll pick some of these here.
this is just on volume level four. Uh, do some TNT. See how loud that gets. Called in a lot of coyotes with that TNT. Little group challenge. From an early standpoint, I think I want to be super happy with the new Roughneck call. Uh, I'll throw a link down in the description below so you guys can take a look at it there, see if you want to buy it or not. You guys should also be sure to subscribe and follow along because there's going to be a lot of coyote videos coming out with this thing in use and hopefully get a lot more good footage on camera for you guys. If you have any questions at all between the two or just anything about the Roughneck or coyote hunting in general, make sure and comment down below. Stay tuned for more to come. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.